Very good morning, guys. This is Gautam from Alpisa United. Today we are going to discuss about the pipelines and activities in Azure Data Factory. Pipelines are nothing but your logical grouping of the activities to perform a task. So, like if I want to either copy the data from one location to another location, I can write a task inside the pipeline. Okay. So, the task can be created or it can be executed inside the pipeline. The okay. pipeline is nothing but your task which you are combining and writing inside the package or something. Okay. So, activities is nothing but your processing step inside the pipeline. Like if I want to perform a data movement from one location to another location, I can write a copy activity or if I want to delete the data from one location, I can use a delete activity. So, it will perform a task that is a activities. So, activities we have three types mainly data movement, data transformation and control flow. Data movement is nothing but suppose if I want to move the data from data like storage to data warehouse, I can use a data movement. Uh, suppose if I want to move the data data from file system to the data lake, I can use the copy activity. So, copy activity is an example for the data movement transformation activities. Transform, data transformation is like I am extracting the data on top of the data and performing some changes to the data using some scripts. Okay. Example is like if I want to extract the data from the data lake and then I have to change the data using some Python script and then again put back the data into the data lake. So, data transformation is like uh, you are extracting the data from your source location and then making the transformation on top of it and then putting back to the data. So, example, we have a lot of uh, data transformation activities in data factory. So, that I will show it in the Azure portal page. Control flow is nothing but it is uh, if your data is, you are extracting the data and uh, you are putting some if conditions like I want to move the data uh, to this location based on my condition. If it is true, means then move to this location. If it is false, then move to other location. So, this kind of activity which will handle in the control flow. Okay. So, conditional based expression control, we can handle it in the control flow. To know more about the, this activities and pipelines, we can very well visit to the data factory link which I listed in the. Let me walk through the pipeline and activities in the Azure Data Factory page. If you see here my screen Azure Data Factory, so if you click on this plus button, it, it will allow you to create a pipeline. Okay. This is a pipeline that is created now. Now on the left side you will find various activities like if I want to move the data from one location to another location, I can use the copy activity. Okay. So, here you have to specify the source and sync location. Okay. And then, uh, if, you are, if you want to create any mapping between the source and the sync location, you can import the schema and do it. Okay. And similarly, we have delete actually. Okay. Delete is nothing but your source location where you want to delete it. So, each and every activity which will you need the data set. Data set is nothing but you are referring the actual data present in that location and then you are consuming the data and producing the new data. Okay. So, data set is very, very mandatory for consuming it and producing the new data in the activity. So, every activity will have a data set. Okay where you want to get the data from file system present in your local machine or if you want to get the data from this area that so you have a, you must have a data set. Okay. This is a, these two are the examples of the data movement transformation, the data movement activity. Okay. So transformation is like we have Azure function here, we have bad service database. So these and all comes on the transformation. And control flow, we have if condition. If the, if the case is uh, true, will, then we have to execute another activity. If it is false, means 
or the group and everything. So we have similarly like switch actually. Okay. We will discuss about each and every activity in the next upcoming session. Okay. Default case you can write it. Otherwise you have to write a different case. So this is activities actually. We will discuss about the link to services and data sets triggers and other types of activities in the next upcoming videos. So hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe. Thank you.